Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a demo of a plugin, a review plugin for WooCommerce. This is called Customer Reviews for WooCommerce. Now what this does basically is it allows your customers to receive the review email. So once the order is placed, user is going to get an email to provide the review for that particular product that has been purchased. Now the good thing is that it also works for multiple products in case if the user has bought two or more products for example. And once the user submits the review through that email, then that review will be submitted uh, to your WordPress and it uses the default WordPress reviews functionality. So uh, you will have all the options to approve or decline and all of that stuff. Okay. So without wasting time, let's begin. So I have already activated this plugin called Customer Reviews for WooCommerce. And once you do that, you'll be able to see all your reviews under the Reviews menu item. So you can click on this and you can see all of the reviews. Currently, I don't have any. And then you have the settings options over here as well. So you can do all of the settings. The first thing we're going to do is before we do any settings, we're going to activate the license key. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and register myself. So I'll go to Cust Review dot com and register so I'll just do okay so once you registered you're going to get an email to verify yourself so here it is so I'm going to verify myself so I put the password so I'm registered now and as you can see that I've got a dashboard available as well so you have an option to get the free license as well as the pro license key. Uh, I'm going to go with free license and I'm going to copy this API key, go back to my WordPress under settings, and then I'm going to put the license key like so and click on save changes. So now my dashboard, which is where cost review dashboard is now linked to my WordPress site, which is great. Okay, and the way to know that is if you do a refresh, uh, you can see that you've got the domain available under this particular key, which is great. Okay, once you do that, then uh, you have a review reminder option over here. Here you can enable this to send automatic follow up emails. You can set a delay, I'll put a delay of one, for example, like after how many days the email invitation should go to submit a review. Uh, what should be the order status uh, when the email is sent and then enable for all categories or specific categories uh, enable enable for all roles so you have different options available here enable for guest for guest checkout so even guests will receive an email to submit a review and if you check this box then uh, it will ask the user that Take a checkbox on checkout page to indicate whether they would like to receive an invitation uh, to review the order or not. This will be the consent text. We're not going to check that. Let's leave it. This, if you check this, then the review email will go to registered customer only. Then this is for moderation. Uh, this is to enable this to exclude the free products for review invitation. This is the shop name. Then you can put reply address, email for notification, subject. And these are basically your WooCommerce short codes. So this is going to be replaced. And these are basically your short codes. So these are going to be replaced by the site title. This will be replaced by the customer's first name, which is the WooCommerce. So this is WooCommerce short code. So you can edit it if you want. These are the options available that you can use in terms of the short code, uh, order ID, order date, etc. You can choose a different color over here. Uh, let's say I'm going to go with something like this one. And then if you want shop rating to be sent, you can select this one. If comments are required, then you check this box. I will do that. I would like my users to put comments for reviews. So I've enabled that. And then this will be for attaching media. And then finally, you have the form color option. Again, I'll choose something like this. Let's go with, yeah, let's go with this one and I'll go ahead and save changes. Before you actually place the order, you have an option to test it if you want. So I can put the email address, send an email, 
test email to see how it's going to look like so you can see that email has been successfully sent and if i now go over here you can see that uh, i have got this particular email and it's using the same color that i had selected over here and it says thank you for shopping with us and order number and stuff whatever you had put in the back end like all of this information and then click on review so you can see that you have an option to submit the review you can give it rating comment and you can see that rating and comments are mandatory because we check that option you can choose a display name and you can submit it so i'm not going to try out the test one i'll let's go and do a proper one the live one okay so i'm going to go ahead and place an order so i'll go to the front end let's add a few products and i'm going to do multiple products because like i said it allows you to uh, review multiple products which is pretty great i would say many of the uh, service providers are charging you for that extra to get this feature but this feature is absolutely free in this plugin so let's do that and by the way all of these features that i've just shown you so far all are free there are more features available in the paid version also uh, so features like these ones where it says professional license is required so you can do that but for basic things i think free version is pretty good okay so i'm going to proceed to check out and place the order quickly so everything is filled um, for now i'm just going to use the same email address but you can use a different email address for testing purposes so i'm going to do cash on delivery in this case and everything else is filled which is great place the order So order has been received. Let's go back to WooCommerce orders. And then this is currently under processing. So now, because in the settings we had put that it should be for completed only, I'm going to change this to completed and update it. So if you remember from the settings, You can see that order status will be completed only then the review email will be sent to the user so now i have changed it let's go to the order and see what happened all right congratulations so you can see that no reminder sent yet but a reminder is scheduled for june 1st 120 right now the thing is that how am i supposed to test it actually i mean i don't want to wait till tomorrow to be able to test it right so the beauty of it is that I, and I really like this feature that you have an option to send it like immediately. Like for some customers, if you feel that you don't want to wait, you can send it immediately by clicking this button manually. Uh, if you don't click this button manually, it's going to anyways go tomorrow, like whatever date you said for us, we set the uh, delay of one day. That's why it's going to be sent after one day. But um, if you want to send it immediately, you can just click on this one so let's do that so sending reminder sent let's go and check if i received it all right congratulations so there you go you can see that hi imran thank you for shopping with us we'd love to, if you could help uh with us with a review and the order number is 2268 let's verify order number 2268 and then if i click on review all right awesome so you can see all of the products uh, have been sent for the review so i can do that i'll do this one this one i'll give five rating to all and then i click submit you can see that it doesn't allow me because it's saying that please add the comment right so excellent product now if i submit it all right so you can see that that's been submitted and notice that i get an option to edit your review i can edit it i can click on edit and i can change make any changes great product and then i can resubmit it which is great perfect 
so congratulations. That has been done. And now if I go back and if I check under reviews, notice that I've got all of these options and notice that it is currently in not approved state, which means I have to approve it in order for it to reflect on the front end. Why? Because I added a checkbox moderation of the review enable moderation. Okay, so I have to approve it. So let's approve it. Okay, so I have to approve it. So let's approve it. Okay, let's leave this one. Let's not approve that one. So now if I go to products and if I go to one of these products, you can see that it does have a review and you can check it out. It says great product. Perfect. Awesome. So that's how it works. Now let's take a look at the dashboard. You can see these are all the reviews that we have received and you have an option to publish on social media, but it won't allow you until you set up the trust badge. So in order for us to set up the trust badge, we'll go to settings and we'll go to trust badges and then enable this option. And then floating badge, save changes. And now it's been set. If I go to reviews again, if I try to share it now, it works, brilliant. So I can share it on Facebook, publish, publish on Facebook, and now you can see it allows me to go ahead and share that. Brilliant. Okay. And I can also down I can also download it, which is great. Then uh, I do have other options as well, like like upload the logo and all, all that stuff. But for that, you need to have a premium account. So there are some of the features over here which requires you to have premium account. But for basic things, I think this is good enough. You can check analytics also which will kind of so right now you can see that it's five and four reviews received one in invitation sent and yep it gives you all of that conversion rate so basically that's also going to be helpful you have some email template options but again in order to change that you'll have to upgrade but there are some basic settings already available um, inside of your wordpress which you can actually use right so I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And please do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. And thanks to all the beautiful 837 people who have followed me. So please follow me to support my work. And follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Cody Tech. All right. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.